While Chaos Child is fairly well known due to being from the same universe as Steins Gate and receiving an anime in 2017, people rarely talk about its predecessor Chaos Head, and with good reason to be honest. The anime is pretty garbage, as expected with most shows that try and cram a visual novel into 12 episodes, and there's no way to read it officially. The best way to play the VN over here is to download a fan patch alongside a locale emulator to trick your operating system into thinking you're playing the game in Japanese. Once you get all the technical bullshit out of the way however, you're treated to one of the most unique reading experiences I've had. While it's probably best to go into this blind, it's hard to have any incentive to read something you know nothing about, so there will be light spoilers in this. There's also going to be some pretty violent imagery in this at times, so if you can't hack that kind of thing, it's probably worth giving this video a skip. To delve into what this VN is all about, we experience the story through Takumi Nishijou, who is the biggest loser I've ever had the displeasure of learning about. He's essentially a hikamori that goes to school the minimum amount required, is obsessed with MMOs and anime, and is super shy to the point that he won't talk to anyone. Because of his anxiety, he's developed quite a grim worldview, convincing himself that all 3D girls are pieces of shit and making his monologue sound like something out of a school shooter's manifesto. His introverted nature means he's normally stuck in his own head and coming up with pretty messed up fantasies, usually being perverted even towards his own sister or having sinister thoughts which highlight his paranoia. While talking to an online friend in a chat room, a user named Shogun joins and sends him gruesome images from a murder scene much like those committed in the story's City of Shibuya by the mysterious New Gen Killer. A few days later, when Takumi is going home late at night, he comes across the exact same crime scene he was sent photos of, along with a girl from his high school brutalising the man in front of him. How is he sent photos of a crime before it happened? Is Shogun the murderer, and if so, what does he want? And does the girl at the crime scene recognise him from school? Takumi is unwillingly roped into this bizarre killing spree, and will have to fight off his paranoid delusions to try and uncover the truth behind it all. Now as you've probably guessed, I really don't like Takumi, and hated him so much for a good chunk of this VN that it honestly made it hard to get through. However, I can't deny that he's a very fitting protagonist for this kind of story. With this murder happening so close to home and with people from his high school seemingly having connections to it, he's in the kind of situation that allows his paranoia to thrive. Takumi is a coward, and his delusions reflect this as he tries to ignore the reality in front of him and come up with his own version of events, or has his anxiety and fear of the unknown take control and make him think of the worst case scenario in everything. These delusions take form in this game as an actual mechanic, giving you the option to choose a negative or positive one in certain instances throughout the story, or skip them entirely. These hallucinations of his become more frequent as the mystery develops, and it's a pretty fantastic way of keeping track of Takumi's deteriorating mental state throughout the game. It really emphasises how much he's in over his head in this scenario and highlights just how alone he is, being in this fucked up situation with only his vivid imagination being able to carry him through it. While I hated this guy's guts at the beginning, as you see him slowly break down throughout the game, with delusions giving him a shred of hope only for them to cruelly crumble away in front of him, it's very hard not to feel bad for him, and I think the fact that he's written to be so unlikable helps to hit home just how awful his situation is. I don't think I've ever had so many conflicting emotions when dealing with a character in a series before, and for that reason, for better or for worse, Takumi will stay in my mind for a long time. Furthermore, as the plot develops, Takumi starts doubting his own actions in the story after someone accuses him of being the murderer, and this delusion mechanic cleverly ties itself to the plot as we second guess ourselves trying to figure out what's real and what isn't. Visual novels lend themselves well to the mystery genre, with Floats Arts and Zero Escape for example following you into the mystery piece by piece. And similarly, I think the delusion mechanic does a fantastic job of fleshing out our main character as well as setting the tone for this mystery and psychological horror story we're journeying through. Big emphasis on psychological horror by the way. There's a lot of uniquely terrifying moments in this which I can't spoil, but this VN is one mindfuck after another, and Takumi's experiences are the definition of suffering. There's a lot more to this than just a series of murders, and if you like big plot twists in your mystery stories, you're not going to be disappointed. One of the only gripes I have with this story is that beyond one or two characters, most of the cast aren't that developed, which is a real shame since there are some pretty interesting people introduced. However, it turns out there's an updated version of this VN called Chaos Head Noah that introduces heroin routes to playthrough, which presumably fleshes out everyone's character. Unfortunately, it isn't available to play in English, but if it ever gets a fan translation it'll most likely remedy this issue I have. Overall, if you read Chaos Head, I'm confident in saying this will be unlike anything you've experienced before. Takumi is a unique protagonist that will definitely stick with you, and the horror and mystery elements perfectly fit the narrative being conveyed here. Lots of interesting twists keep the story compelling throughout, and the delusion mechanic helps push the psychological horror aspect in really interesting ways. If you're a fan of stories like Umineko, Zero Escape, Raging Loop to name a few, you'll be right at home here, as Chaos Head stands shoulder to shoulder with the best of them. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.